to the second part of the recurve installation series. In this uh, video, we're going to show you guys how to set the out, how to set the input and output voltage on the recurve, so we can get the cleanest signal that we can out of the stock head unit. Um, the parts, <coughs> excuse me, the items you'll need for this part of the install or this part of the setup are your digital multimeter that we showed you earlier. Uh, you don't really need a screwdriver, but it helps. I like to use them to turn the knobs. You can do it by by your by hand. You're going to want to download and download this the uh, test tones from our website at tacotunes.com forward slash recurve. Uh, you can put those. I'd recommend putting those on a CD and having them ready. And then, of course, we mentioned this earlier: the RCA cables. Uh, this is a six-channel setup that we include in our amplifier in our well, I should really call it an installation kit. If you get one, if you purchase one from us, um, I wanted to show you. Thus far, I plugged in the subwoofer output and the rear channel output, rear channel outputs, and now um, I left. I just wanted to show you guys. I mean, it's pretty simple to plug in the uh, the front. You look for the front output, and I've got a right output, left out, a right output, and a left output. Generally, you'll see this one's red, so usually the red will go to the to the right. And then the blank one will go to the left. So now I'm able. Now, now what we can do is use the opposite side uh, to measure our output voltage. Now I wanted to mention, which is really cool. I think I might have mentioned it in the other video. These are labeled front, rear, and sub. So it makes it really easy when you're um, <clears throat> after you run this cable in your in your vehicle. Uh, it's easy to figure out which RCA is which. So anyhow, all right. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is the next step is we want to set the recurve all of the knobs straight up and down all the frequency knobs set those to zero set the output gain straight up and down like 12 o'clock on a, on a clock and then on the input gain we're going to set these all the way down okay now I'm going to take your test CD that we that you burned we're going to pop it in the CD player All right, and then we're going to look for the 100 hertz negative 3 dB test tone. So I'm going to turn here. Let's see. There we go. All right, so that's the this one. And on this CD, it's number two. It's, it says 100 hertz negative 3 dB. We've got nine minutes of play time. All right, guys, before I forget this important step, uh, I can't believe I almost did, so I'm going to squeeze this back into the video. Um, we need to make sure that the stock head unit is set to its default flat settings and what I mean by flat is if you click on sound here you'll notice that treble mid and bass are all right down the center there's no boost or reduction in the sound and we need to be sure that the front and rear faders are also set perfectly centered um, keep in mind these settings for every source or they need to be set for every source if you haven't messed with them then they should all be at default but um, anyhow, I just wanted to make sure before you start trying to tune the recurve, make sure that your sound settings, let's go back here, are set flat. Okay, before we before we um, uh, reach for the, the digital multimeter, we're going to set the out the input gain here by using the onboard clipping meter. So again, we've got the first thing we're going to do is we've got this plan, we've got the test tone plan at. Uh, let's see, yeah, 100 hertz, three, uh, negative 3 dB. So I'm going to turn this head unit all the way up, and I'm going to figure out that my max volume is about 63. So I'm going to back this unit back down to 50. We'll talk about this more in depth in some more advanced stuff for you guys that want to learn a lot more. But for now, for, for the rest of you guys that just want to get this going, set it to 50. Mentally, you know 50 is going to be your max volume on your head unit. Okay, now... The next step is now we've got signal coming from here, feeding through the recurve wiring system into the EQ system. So now what we can do is we can set the input gain simply by taking a screwdriver or your finger. Now we're going to turn this up. You're going to see a green light go on. I don't know if you can see that in the video. And then you're going to see, I'm going to keep turning that light, the second light went on and now we have orange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back this off just until I have no more orange. Alright, so I thought it would be a good idea to show you a close-up of the 
light meter here. Okay, so I'm going to turn the input gain up, and you'll see the first green light turn on, then the second one, and now the orange light. And of course, we don't want that orange light on. That's telling us that we're 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 in the beginning stages of clipping. So we want to turn that back down and make sure we have no orange lights on at all. And that way we know we're feeding the cleanest possible signal into the recurve. Okay? Now I'm going to do the same thing for the next, for the rear channels. So I'm going to turn that up. And there we go. We've got, we want, we see, you can see the orange. We're going to back that off again. And then same thing for the subwoofer. Okay, we're going to back that down. So now we've got our input gain. Our, our input gate is our input gain knobs are set. You're pretty much done. You don't have to mess with these anymore. Now, don't worry if these knobs don't match up exactly because we're going to use our multimeter to measure the output gain to get the uh, to get exactly four volts out of the recurve that we're going to feed to your amplifier. Okay, so now what we're going to do is. I'm going to actually zoom in here and I'm going to show you how you guys are going to measure using your digital multimeter. Before I do that, let me show you something. Okay. If you guys purchase this multimeter, like I think I stated in the previous video, you can get this off Amazon. I think it's like 20 bucks max. So, first thing you're going to do, I'm going to zoom, move this up here. You're going to set this to AC voltage. And on some other units, if you have a different unit, it may have just a V with a squiggly line, and the squiggly line is for alternating current. So right now, you'll notice, even though we've got nothing hooked up, we're getting a little variation. However, if I touch these together, right now I'm getting, see a varying number, I touch these together, and I should get zero. Okay, so this thing is working. Now, what, what, what you're going to use the digital multimeter for is you're going to take and we're going to start with the front. So look for the front, front RCA. And here, let me zoom in. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you the connector close up for you. Uh, I know some of you guys are watching this on your phone, so I'm hoping this helps you out. Okay, here you're looking at the RCA connector. This part of the connector right here, this metal sleeve, is the negative. So you're basically just going to take your lead, hold it up against the negative, take the red, the positive lead and put that in the center and that's going to measure the output now I'm going to use a special connector because I want to be able to keep my hands free you guys will have these connectors I have a different set of connectors and I'm also going to use a different meter this is a good meter it does the, the, the one I showed you does a good job but I need my hands free so I, I wanted to show you a close-up don't get confused with my special connectors so I'm going to zoom back out I'm going to pause here for a second, zoom back out, and get it set up. All right, guys, um, this is a multimeter I'm going to use uh, only because it's got special connectors and it'll let me keep my hands free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the negative. It's just like yours, except it's got a clip on it, so I, can, I don't have to hold the connectors. And then I'm going to take the red. And notice I'm already getting voltage. Um, I've already got voltage output. I need to make sure I'm on my 100 hertz. Can I see that? Yeah on the 100 hertz negative 3 dB and I'm already at 3.2 volts and again it's very similar to the other um, to the other multimeter and just for grins at the end I'll show you how I'll show you the other multimeter okay so what I'm going to do now is I've got 3.2 volts coming out and I want to set this up to 4 volts for every single I want to set the front the rear and the sub all the 4 volts so at this point I'm going to adjust the output gain by turning the knob higher and you'll see there I've got four volts and don't don't uh, stress yourself trying to get exactly four volts um, you can you can make it happen but for the sake of this video I don't know if I'm gonna just sit here and fight with it for that long Urgh. <laughs> So I'm pretty close to four volts there. I, I used, again, to help keep my hands free. Now, just for grins, let me show you. Here's, here's the multimeter you'll be using. Again, on this one, 
you'll set it to AC voltage. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect my wires. And I'm going to use the leads off this one. And I should be right at the same voltage. Let's see what we get. Hold it there. Hold it there. We're just a hair off. Okay. Now, this multimeter here is relatively expensive, so it's probably going to be more accurate than this one, but you're talking very minute amount, and it really does not make that big of a difference. You're, I mean, you're talking 0 0.02 volts. So if you're really concerned, um, you can set yours to 3.98, um, but this, the, th this one is more, way more accurate than this one. This one costs about 10 times as much as that one, I would bet. So anyhow, you can see by using the, the, uh, the $20 meter, same thing, you're going to click here, connect here, there, you're at 3.98. Using the, the higher end meter, we're getting, oh, wait a second. Maybe I, maybe I messed with the adjustments. Let's see, there's four. 3.99. All right, there's four. Now let's try this again with the other multimeter. Maybe it's more accurate than I thought. Oh, really close. So as you can tell, this little $20 unit is doing a really good job. It's very close to this more, uh, much more expensive unit. So I don't mean to you know, waste your time there, but the point is that you can use this multimeter get the voltage so you're going to perform the same steps for the front rear and sub and at that point you've taken the cleanest signal we can obtain from the head unit fed it through the through the um, through the EQ system and then you've set the output voltage to four uh, to four volts now we can take these and connect them to our amplifier the next video um, that we're going to show you guys is how to actually set the how to we're, we're going to actually the next video we're actually going to take an amplifier and hook it up and get uh, start getting sound and then show you how to set up the amplifier as well. Okay guys, just to wrap it up, um, I'm shooting from the hip, so if I miss anything, if there's any comments, please, you know, please post it on YouTube. If I need to update the video, we will, you know, we'll do that. I just want to make sure we get you as much information as you can. So I um, appreciate you guys taking the time and uh, look for the next video coming up on how to set up the amp. Thanks a whole bunch. Yeah.